what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clear on the crowd What's a crap? Ball dance and rip off my gown We done went from the church to the hall to the sink to Y'all, it's Koei from Talk of the Town And we on a new episode And we got a special guest PJ the baller PJ the baller PJ the baller How'd you get your name? Why the baller? Like <laughs> <laughs> like how that came about um, You know everybody have hoop dreams Okay so you still have hoop dreams Nah I just kept the ball Because I like basketball I like balling So okay. now I look at balling as a different thing Instead of basketball Okay so what do you? how do you look at balling now Like what is it Living life Doing what you like to do Okay Okay <laughs> So tell us where you from For the people that don't know I'm from Mount Vernon Westchester County We call it the non Okay, that's called the nine. Yeah, the nine has like nine one four. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, cause no rowdy and I'm cool. at the nine too. I'm like the nine is just popular in, I guess the tri-state. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so tell us how it was growing up. Growing up. Yeah. So. Growing up in the nine. <laughs> how was it growing up? See, growing up for me was different because when I was fifteen, I got sentenced to ten years in jail. So you was in for 10 years? For seven. Seven, okay. Yeah, so it was like, <clears throat> I grew up in jail. I didn't really grow up in the night. And it's like, so I could talk about from when I turned 15, but. Okay. It was just regular. We was just, you know, I was just in the streets doing what I like to do, bad shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just doing wild gang activity. All right, so 15 like, got locked up. You're going in now. What, what, what you thinking? What's on your mind? How you feeling? What's the plan when you come out? See, when I when I got locked up, I was young. I was, I was, I was like. You thought it was gonna be a slap on the wrist type of thing, or nah, you knew so, it was gonna be a long time. So I thought I was only gonna end up doing three and a half, three years. Okay. But my bid was a three and a half to ten. Oh. So, <clears throat> I had the mindset of I'm gonna just do three years and come home. Okay. But when I went upstate, when I got like processed, I get my paperwork. It's telling me about a parole board I gotta go to. Mm. So now I'm like, it shouldn't be a, it shouldn't have to be a decision. I'm supposed to do three years and go home. Right. But my CR was actually six and a half years. Okay. Okay. So in jail, what are you writing? Are you meeting people? Are you like, how did the music come about? See, I ain't never really do music. I was a funny guy. <laughs> I always, okay. Like, I always cut ass. Okay. Like, you know how wild and out they be rhyming at the end? At the classroom so, table yeah, that, and shit like that? That's my rapping. Like, oh, okay. I take other niggas' rap. Like, Cassidy was the person I liked. Okay. So I get a Cassidy verse that I know niggas ain't here. Okay. Like, I know you ain't here this because you wasn't in tune with Cass. So I'll be on some shit. But yeah, a lot of people not in tune. It started with, like, joking in the yard. Okay. Like, it was, like, two guys battling. Then the one of them was my, one of the bros. Mm-hmm. So they just, like, threw it out there. Like, yo, next battle is... It's P and I R. On some joking shit, or they was dead ass. Oh, you was like, you knew they, they was joking. <laughs> no, they was dead ass. But I took it as I was like on some joking shit. Okay. But when we going back in the tear, they was dead ass. So they like yo mm-hmm. yo P. When we come out, like you going battle. I'm like yo bro, you dead ass. <laughs> he like yeah. So I said I'm gonna write some shit. Long story short, I wrote some shit, and I won because okay. I didn't win on because I was nice. I won on because I knew things about him. Like, Press certain niggas pulled shit. up, had him under pressure. So, he had that eight-mile moment type of shit. Yeah, so I <laughs> joked him out. But when he rematched, he 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 he, he smashed my mic. Oh. Then that made me want to rap because he violated me. He told me he he he, play, he, he played because he didn't think I was going to... Go he, crazy? The, he, he violated me. So, does that, like, bother you that people under, un, underestimate your talent? Or does that make you want to, like, nah, write that, a little that, bit more? I mean, that was a minute I ago. I won, but, so I felt good. Yeah, so that was I, a minute ago, but, you yeah, know... But, when I lost, I ain't feel good because he ain't want to battle me back. Okay. Nigga said, no, you don't rap. But I'm like, nah, I'm serious <laughs> now. He's like, no, I'm no. not. Like, fuck it. Yeah, so now, I guess that got you in your bag now. Because he was like, nah, you don't rap. me like, watch this. Yeah, it was like. Shit? Okay. So you get motivated off of people telling you you can't? Or what motivates you? Like, nah, how you get motivated? Was, like, so it's like, after that, we had, like, vocational classes. So we just start going there rapping. And it's now it's not no no battle shit. It's storytelling. I always want to just tell a story, vent through the music, let niggas know what's going on, shit like that. Okay. 
Okay, so when you got out, you was how old? Probably like twenty something. So when I when I got out, I was see. I, so when I got out, I was I was twenty. Okay. I was like I was twenty. I just came out of college. I was twenty. Okay, cause you went to college in there. Yeah, I got my associates. In okay, that's up. Okay, so how did the music start? Like, so when you came out, you was like, yo, I'm going to shoot a video for this stuff I was writing? Nah, it wasn't none of that. I wasn't no, I didn't come home on some, I wrote raps. Okay. Like, <laughs> so you came home still a funny guy, I guess. I, I came home, like. I guess. Home, like. The Happy bonus. to, enjoying, I guess, time out. The yeah. songs I dropped when I was in jail was me, like, coming at the niggas that told on me. So okay. I just, like, be a bird head. Some like, spicy shit. Yeah, like, be a bird head. I came home on some Uncle Murder shit. That's one of my favorite rappers. You saw okay. the rap up. I just rap yeah. on the beat and just violate people like, but mm-hmm. speak spit facts though. Okay, but I ain't really take rap serious until like okay. other people around. Then we started getting money and it was like fuck it. Okay, okay, okay. So when when was the serious moment? I'm trying to. I'm waiting for it. Like it when was it. was it serious? I mean, you are you got a team of people with you now, dropping visuals, got Capella. It was serious when we feature. started. Like probably like. 2017. Okay. Like, my, my first okay. vid was probably like 2017. Okay. I took it serious. So it was like, before before the, the music shit, it was like a movie going on, like something with pranking, something called Hood Pranks that I'm in. It's out actually. Oh, okay. And before that, they was trying to make, instead of me be an artist, I was going to do the movie thing and make music for the soundtrack for, the, right. for that. Uh-huh. That ain't work for me. Okay. So I ended up getting arrested. Again? Okay. Yeah, I ended up wow. getting arrested again. Then when I got arrested, I was a person, like, it's not even no hatred shit, but I really look at a magazine or I hear somebody on the radio, like, bro, why is this guy on the radio? Like, it's like, this shit is dirt. Oh, like, so it's like, that right true. there would make you want to, that made me want to come home and really do something. Cause it's like, bro, mm-hmm. if this is on the radio, if, th- if this is, if yeah, this if person. This is trending, if this like, nigga bro, getting like, a thousand it's likes. It's like anybody could do it now. It's yeah. like, then, you know, like, I just took a serious start again. So, do you feel like your heart is in this, or do you feel like you just have an inner talent, or like what is it? Oh, now, now we, 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 we locked in now. Now, yeah. My first feature was, I think, was Uncle Murdo. Was my first feature, Uncle Murdo. My first feature was. I seen you was doing like shows and stuff, performing and. Yeah, I was doing the showcase thing. Like I was doing like the little showcase thing, like before, but once I started. Like, as I said, like, money play a big part. Like, once mm-hmm. niggas started getting money, it was like, I, I'm not doing the shows. Now I'm going after features now. We're going to go okay. a different route. And your first feature was? was Uncle Murder. Uncle Murder, which was your favorite artist. So how was that? How'd you get the news? How was that studio time? Like, how that, was that was vibe? like, the Uncle Murder, the Uncle Murder joint was like, that was just like. On the bucket list? No, nah, that like, was, that check? was like. I ain't think it was gonna happen. I was okay. I was with a dude named GMG Buck. He, okay. he, he played, I think, Money and Violence. I met him in okay. the club. Okay. That's the that Brody. Was a, that was a thing. Yeah, so that was the bro. So he had a GMG chain on. Uh huh. So one day I told one of the bros like, well, "Do you really think he's GMG or he just got the chain?" <laughs> <laughs> he like, you know, you gotta wonder he, nowadays. He like, he like nigga, just ask him. Or oh, I said, "Nah, nigga, fuck." I said, "Y'all want to do a song, Uncle Murder?" He said, "The old man," because that's what they call him. I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, I guess. Uh, Uncle Murder, the rapper. He like, <laughs> he like, I got you right now. Nigga made a call, son. He was like, yo, pull up at 8 o'clock with such and such amount of money. Okay. I said, bro, you're lying. Okay. He's, then I pulled up. Like It was like four hours later. Okay. I pulled up, and it went down. Okay. So you don't feel a way about paying for features, because a lot of artists be on some, I'm never paying for a feature. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, so you feel like if you got it, you don't mind spending it. It's not about buying the feature because it's like at the end of the day, it's like my man's have to like show me this. It's like everybody is not as fortunate as everybody. Mm-hmm, true. So it's like people live off music. Yeah. So it's like you can't get mad at a person charging you because that's how they feed their family. Right. So it's like so it's if it makes sense to me. Yeah, but I'm a person that would pay for a feature, but after you tell me your price, I need the ball of special. Mm-hmm. Like, so, okay. yeah. so I, I don't right. care if it's not retarded, if, if it makes sense. Like, yeah. I, didn't got, I didn't pay features and got jerked. 
Like, mm-hmm. like, like, you feel me? So it's like, I got a feature of Mr. Kid. Want a name Kid. drop or you cleared the air with that already? I got a feature of Mr. <laughs> Kid, though. Okay. That never got cleared. Oh, okay, okay. But never got cleared? Cleared. Like, it never oh, got his cleared. label never. It's over. Got so it. it's like, that's a jerk. But it's like, at the time, it was a vibe. So do you not shoot for label artists anymore? Or like, how you, how you feel about that? I don't like. I don't really care about. I, I won't even be. I want to be able to tell you who's a label artist. That when, it, when it's feature time, yeah. I'm going to somebody that they look up to. Okay. I'm going to somebody they close to, so I get the best price. Okay. And it's like you feel me? Just if it makes sense, it makes sense. If you're trying to charge fifty thousand, like I never paid no more than six thousand for a feature, mm-hmm. and I got rich the kid. <laughs> so it's okay. like I go through like who you know. Yeah. You feel me? Like So relationships matter in the industry. Hell so. yeah, that matter because you're going to get dealt with like anybody. I don't want to get <laughs> dealt with like I'm trash. I want to get dealt with like I'm bored. Okay. So how do you go on building relationships with artists cause a lot, or with people in general? Because a lot of people feel like it's about... Like, don't go mm-hmm. against their price. But that, even like building you, with once, artists. That's, that's the first step. If I tell you five bands and you try to talk me out of my price, that's going to turn me off. Like I don't even want to deal with you no more. You don't even respect me. Okay. So you, whatever you say, okay. I have to prepare myself for that. Like I, I won't tell you. I'll go around it and say, "Yo, you feel me?" But you ready? You're already starting off wrong. Like I told you my price. Like <laughs> I know who you are. Okay. So like, the I niggas. Already you. So people. So talking people down is definitely a no no. That's like, Why are you trying to talk me down? I already I mean, did a discount in my head for you. <laughs> like the fuck. <laughs> like yeah, that's where it be wrong. Like not like like for like like when I met Benji, like. I know what people is like. You feel me? When I first met Benji, my videos like, I know what Benji pe- films. Came yeah, in? Benji films. Okay. I know where like people is like. You uh-huh. know what you doing? You know you about to head up Benji. Yeah. So you know you about when to. When he hits you shit. with a price, don't get shocked. Yeah, because why are you hitting them up if you don't want it? Like, or if you don't you got know it, why or you hitting whatever. Them up because he's lit. Okay. So you think he's not going to charge you what is what he's worth? Okay, so you think like once you had a certain stature. They could they could charge and if that's how they provide some people and be feeling they self, people yeah I was like because people do feel they self. some people show some, love some some people be feeling we they live self. in New York City where everyone is egos and cocky and all that type of stuff now so, I don't target New York because there's too much drama there's too much politics, political so I don't even target if if I do a song with a New York artist I personally know them okay so I see you got the song with Capella and Shawnee. See, Capella's a friend to me, like, okay. but, like, but, like behind the scenes, like that's, okay. that's that's that was the dog, like. So and he's still like, a New York artist, but but he's, he's like not, he not drill we talking, or we talking about huh? drill rappers, yeah, like, like Capella <laughs> don't can <didn't> count. <laughs> so like, how do you feel about the whole drill movement overall right now? Do you consider yourself a drill rapper? Nah, I like to tell a story. Like I said, I like pain. I do drill because the label wanted, the bros wanted, but I don't. That's not my thing. I don't even know how to start a song by myself. That is not good to say on camera. What the nah, word? as a drill song. <laughs> oh, as a drill song. Okay. I don't, like, I don't that because the drill is not me. I'm not. You gotta learn okay. how to. You, the drill is crazy. It's like you could do it, but it's like you gotta be that. Like it's it's kind of like it's different for me. I like to tell a story. I like pain. I don't like okay. that fast shit. So you so you, so when Eric Adams went on the whole rant of how he don't want it on the net and like people's on some drill music to dub and drill music about to end. Like how do you feel? Because that's what people that, are saying right now. For me, I, you feel the same way? I'm 26. <laughs> I did all this shit when I was 15. So I mean, they 15. Technically, like, a lot of drill artists is young. Yeah, so it's like, I don't I don't get into that. I'm from Westchester. Okay. That, that's city shit. I let them deal with that. <laughs> I'm from that's the city nine. Shit. So what y'all listening to up there in Westchester? <laughs> Nigga, listen to everything you listen to. <laughs> Type shit. Okay. Oh, What's hot? My bad. It's closed. Yeah, but I don't drill All right, so you said that you're signed. Who you signed to? I got signed with Universal. Okay, how long ago? Was it recently? A few months ago? A minute ago? Were we in July? Yeah. About like 90 days. Okay. Four months probably. So you're real fresh in it. How you feeling about the label label vibes? Or you feel like you didn't feel it yet because you're so new? How you feeling? Oh, I got a single deal. So it's like, it's, it's all right. I got I got two singles with an option of a third. Okay. So it's like I ain't really do it for like for the money and all that. Like for like I did it just for the name, to be honest, just to tell people I'm signed with Universal. 
And I just need that team behind me, like the support. Like like certain things I don't know, I can go to people that, that is in power that mm-hmm. can guide me the right way. Okay. So it's like, so it's kind of like different for me. Everybody look at the label as a different. I've never heard nobody say that. <laughs> so like, so... So you're going in to learn, I guess, what you're saying. Yeah, because I, I, it's, it's not, it's not for the bag though. I don't have a hit song, so I know you're not gonna ch- give me life changing money. Right. So it's like I know y'all trying to build, so we gonna work. Like, okay. this, I don't need no money up front. So you, money. so you enjoy like building with people and building. Yeah, I rather team build because it's like, like for example, I dropped this song with Capella. Mm-hmm. The they label, start calling. The label come. Yeah, of course. That go to show y'all don't want me. Y'all want Capella. Right. Y'all just want Bola because he on the song. Y'all think I'm close to him. See, like, when you there, you see a lot of things. But it's like, I looked at it like, like y- y- y'all didn't want me before I dropped the song. I post Capella every day. He posts me every day. And y'all know we dogs. Once mm-hmm. we drop a song, it's lit. Okay. So do you feel like they're being, like, fake in a sense? Because they I'm hit up this money. Or it's business? I- I'm or? piggybacking off of not wanting them for them. Because it's like, it's their money. They just... They just investing their bread in you. Yeah. They just taking a chance. Okay. So it's like you're not getting no serious paper. They're not giving you a million dollars. Who's going right. to chance at him? Yeah. You feel me? Right. So they going to give you like short paper. Like they gonna, So I just give me marketing money. Okay. So um, how important do you feel like marketing is when being an artist? See, I was always, I'm a person that's big on marketing. Like, okay. I'd be on the phone with my dogs for like five hours. Like, yo, <laughs> Planning marketing should, should we make them post this? Should they post this? Should we do this? Should we do that? Okay. Do we like World Star? Do we? Do we? It's like we. I be. I be naming shit. They probably tired of me right now. Cause <laughs> I'm a person that hit them. So up, you're very hands on in your career. Yeah, cause I don't. In the beginning, I was just dropping. I was just putting four thousand into a video and it's doing nothing. Mm. So now we putting money into before I even shoot about like think about shooting the video. I'm gonna mm-hmm. see like, all right, they gonna post it. We gonna have them post it. Okay. Story promo. Okay. So like what's on your um so what is like cuz marketing is different we got TikTok now we got Instagram now we got all this stuff I start I start off with a PR Yeah of course of course So like what advice would you give an artist that's trying to like build their buzz up right now A PR PRs definitely <laughs> That's 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 nothing but that's the only route you should go You got any PRs you want to shout out you, you got people you know Jocelyn, that's 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 the, my dog That's what's up Okay yeah. I just wanted to know who you Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know who Justin. That's what's up. Yeah. So, um, so how'd you meet your PR though? Networking, knowing people, of course. I don't know. I think I met my PR either through Jaquay or Benji. Okay. Because I hit I hit both of them up. See, if I need something, I go through Benji. Okay. Benji, film, that's the big bro. So I hit mm-hmm. him up like, yo, you know any PRs? Send me every PR you know. Every PR like, you know. Every, is crazy. <laughs> then I called Jaquay. Same shit. That because he the one that like really spoke for me on my deal uh-huh. with Universal. Okay. Like far as like the the money and all that, cause mm-hmm. for me, I, I ain't care about their money. So I was taking whatever they was gonna give me. Okay. Jaquay was like, you really wanted that machine behind you and the yeah. team behind you. Jaquay said it. no, bro. He's like he's 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 on the phone like texting me. Shut up. Stop talking. Mm-hmm. Like you yeah. like you hear what you are saying? Yeah. Right don't now? shoot yourself in the foot yeah, right so now. Like, but I yeah. ain't fuck it. So J- Jaquay was so, the one. So it's, I think up. I met him through Jaquay or Benji. Okay. So it's cool that you got people in the industry that be looking out and stuff like that. That's what's up. Now, when he was on the phone, they was they like I could tell they was tight because he knew what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he know he done negotiated some deals with Jacque knows. So um, so what's what's the plans right now? It's summertime. Everybody feel like they got that song of the summer. Do you have a song of the summer? Are you dropping? What's, like what's the plan for this summer? See, right now I'm just going with the flow. Okay. I'm, I'm just going with the flow. Far as like. I have a tape I'm dropping called 23 and 1. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to drop it. That's just for jail people. Okay. 23 and 1 is solitary confinement. Just for jail people? That's for that's for the jails because they have a system for jail now where I can put my music on a, a, the JPEG because people in jail have tablets. Mm-hmm. So everybody can buy your oh, song. Oh, I was about to say, how are you going to do it? Oh, everybody so can buy I got song the secret. I got the key. They're going to buy the project for a dollar or just a song for a dollar? The song. It's going to buy a song. The project will probably be like nine ninety nine. I ain't going to. I'm going to do it for the low. He's like, because like, 
I when you I have so much people in jail. People don't know jail's a big market, like just saying because yeah, like so it's like you they know, be needing shit to do, they in tune they with what's going they, they on. They hear about me, but never hear my music. So when I call yeah. them, they be like, Yo, bro, they got this person on the J Pay, bro, let's do I it. I heard they got like magazines in that shit too. Yeah, I I, I dealt with the mag like the like one of the lit magazines, I think it's I heard it was was it kite or something like that? It's or kite. Like that? It is kite. I the person that runs Kite, I think one of them is home, one of them is in jail. Mm -hmm. The one that's incarcerated was with my cousin. So okay. that's how I got into I was going, I was supposed to do, I was supposed to share the cover with Casanova. Okay. But I ain't want to do that. I wanted my own. But, um, so Casanova was supposed to be a part of it or? Nah, he was just, he, he was actually on it. He was Remember on I said the person that runs the it. The magazine? I, I w was in tune with me. Right. So it was like. He was giving me the opportunity, like, yo, I could put you in the issue. You're just going, it's going to be you and Casanova. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I wanted my own. Like, <laughs> Casanova was lit. Like, uh -huh, like uh -huh. you feel me? I wanted my own shit. Like, I wanted yeah. to feel like the top dog. Like, uh -huh. you feel me? But I, I just fell back. Okay. Okay. But but you definitely put in a project for the people that's in there. That yeah, that's just a, like, like that. if you're not in jail, you're not going to feel it. I don't expect you to. Okay. It's for people. So, what's, in jail. what's for the people, people outside? Like, What's what's the records for the people outside? Are you doing a project? Are you doing singles? Like, PJ, what you don't forget on? the ballers coming up for the people outside. PJ, don't forget the ballers. When I got signed, they kind of pushed a lot of it. It kind of like delayed some flip stuff. Flip flops some shit because now I got to tell them what I want to release now. I got to uh, run it by them and shit yeah. like that. Do you like that or you don't like that? <clears throat> I'm saying like, I got a single deal. So mm -hmm. they only, I only got to tell them about the singles that. We, we, we negotiate about anything outside of that. I feel like I shouldn't have to, but you know you have to. Just be like, yo, yeah. I'm doing this. Yeah, you do got to run it by them. Yeah, Debbie. just because he did. Yeah, you got to say, yo, I'm doing this. Uh, uh they check it out and go. Okay. All right. But um, who you been listening to lately? Like, who's on your playlist? Dirt. I like Dirt. Well, Dirt Spit Pain. Okay. So you really into the pain music and stuff like that? It's like. Yeah, it's just that seven two two old shit. Okay. Yeah, so it's just that and me. See, like my like, I have favorite artists, but mm -hmm. this may sound crazy. I don't listen to them no more. You don't listen to your favorite artists. No, I don't. So you listen to yourself. I like Styles. I like Uncle Murder, and I like okay. French. I don't. Uncle Murder don't drop. You music like French anymore. Montana? It's my favorite. What rapper. do you like about French Montana? He be watching the page. That's my accent, but. Nah, what French do you like Montana, about French Montana? Though it's it's a lot of shit I like about French. Like it's French, my dog. French, like I like the old French, like the devil want my soul. See, like I like if if you wanna know what's crazy, if a person had a most like a a most improved, it'd be French. French went from I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Like like fo French forced you to like them. Yeah, that's why I. I, I he everywhere. French. He's good at marketing. That's what I thought she was gonna he, say. He, 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 <laughs> nah, it's, it's 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 bigger than marketing with French. Like that's not even nothing I will go to. Like if you say like give me two things good about French, I won't even say marketing. What would you say? <laughs> uh, what? Why are you laughing? Nah, because I didn't expect you to ask. Like, cause marketing is not nothing. I would say like French, like it's not about marketing. Like I won't use the word marketing. I would say French know how to stay relevant. Okay. Like, French know what's going on. French is on songs, like, respectfully. He know he's not supposed to be on. But mm -hmm. he's relevant. He, he, nigga, that's, that's big bro. Who gonna tell him no? Yeah. So it's like, you feel but me? But I, I, I also thought you were gonna say, French is good at building relationships. That's the obvious, though. That's the obvious. You, everybody. Like, you gotta say, he's locked in, but a lot of people hate French. There's a lot of people that don't like French. I think hating people on him. hate him because he about his business. For the most I'm not part. even trying to be funny right now. Like my friends, like I argue with my friends. Like, but French just did the, the the million dollar um million dollar for game interview in uh -huh. the twenty dollar in the twenty million dollar mansion. My friends like other rappers, so they don't like French. But now mm -hmm. they like French because they seen the interview and he like was in a twenty dollar mansion. So now they like French. So people don't like French in New York. People like French. French is old. French is this. So I'll be like, all right, but your favorite rapper ain't go diamond. Mm -hmm. My favorite rapper did. <laughs> like that, that's that's what you. That's why I shut him down. Like Diamond is major. Yeah, Diamond like, is major. I don't care if you have what you did. You ain't go Diamond. It's not a talk about. You heard what he said to Tory. Like, yeah. That shit did a billion, not a million. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, I have nothing to say. Like French is French is he up there, he up there. So um so any collabs you're working on? I said no, you got Capella. How's that going? Well the collab Pella feature. You just dropped Shawnee, was that today, yesterday? All the recently. Today. No, today. I dropped the Shawnee song on like June twenty eighth, like But 20th. the video just came out. The video dropped today. Okay. Yeah. So how did you and Shawnee link up? Uh, so like, like I said, if I do a song with a person, I personally like know them. Okay. So it's like Shawnee is like I I, I know her like, I been knew her, like mm-hmm. I always had on the gram. Like <clears throat> to be honest, I don't know how we started following each other, but she's a little younger. But mm-hmm. we we got mutual friends. Like like yeah. and like one of her family members is like a person I I, I run the, run the streets with, I run around with. So it just made sense when it, when I seen like it was time, mm-hmm. I said I. Right. I'm gonna do a song with Shawnee. Well, I, I was gonna do a song with somebody else, but mm-hmm. they played. So I said, all right, I'm gonna do a song with Shawnee. Cause I'm not mm-hmm. into the politics. Like, I do, I, oh, I'm gonna no. link with somebody that's not on that. You yeah. feel me? So, but when it was time for that, it was like, it worked out because it's like, I'm already on vacation with her cousin. So, and that's my dog. <laughs> okay. So make it happen. Like, and we made it happen. Okay. All right. Any other female artists you into? I feel like female artists is like going up right now. Especially in the city. My manager just mentioned Young Dev to me. Okay, Devin is going up right now. She's heavy. Yeah, on the radio. so I'll probably, probably tap in with her. We just waiting for the ticket. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, see, I don't, I don't really like I, it, costs to be the boss. Like, so it's like, you gotta just wait, wait for the ticket. Okay. And anybody else? But from New York? Yeah. Well, it don't got to be from New York. It could go crazy. Mulatto. It's my art. Like, are See, you into be, the female I, artists? I be, I'm a person that's I, realistic. See, I won't even target Mulatto. That's not even being realistic. We're not saying targeting no, I'm saying, them I'm for saying, a feature. I'm just saying, like, you, I'm just, you said for a feature. So I'm saying, like. I said, are you in tune with the female artists? Oh, nah. Are you listening to them? Uh, the New York females. Nobody else? Like, I respect they pen, but I'm, I'm not listening to a mulatto song. Or like, <laughs> like, I respect her pen, though. Why guys feel like they can't get into female because, music? Because, like, like, that's... that's I'm saying, like, everybody like what rapping. they like. I can't relate to her. I like... I listen to me to relate. Okay. If I can't relate to you, I'm not going to play it. Okay. 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 So, um... So... Okay. That's just... <laughs> that's funny. But, you like um... Mulatto? No, well, not no, but yes, but like guys always say they can't get into female artists. She's dangerous. Like what, her, dangerous pen, her pen is different. But I would apply here like on a feature with like like somebody else. Like yeah, but it's like a whole song is kind of whole crazy. song. Just her, she didn't really got a lot of Dolly songs. And she's on features. Features. Yeah, she I though. She 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 get busy. But yeah, besides that. So, do you, who else, like, what else are you working on right now? You said the project is coming out. Do you have a date for the project? But this year, maybe, hopefully? Yeah, this year. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the 23 and 1 soon. Okay. Because that's for the people in the gym. And what should we expect on that? Uh, see, that's going to be, like, pain. Like, far as features on that is, like, local people from my side. I ain't really put, like, no no big uh, features on no, that. that's cool, that's cool. Yeah. So what um so you feel like your sound is pain like what else? I'm saying it's relatable. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say it's pain. But who, who's who's gonna put themselves down? I'm gonna just keep it. It's, it's relatable. Okay. So what's your creative process like? What's the, what's the vibe in the studio? I gotta be smack. <laughs> okay. I try to be sober. It don't work. Really? It don't. But work. you write sober or no, you write smack? I don't even write. When I see, okay. I got I got a feature with Jim Jones as well, right? So I got mad features, but one of my features, the reason why I don't write because I went to the studio with Jim Jones and he ain't right. I'm like, how does he just do? I'm like, he never heard the He's song. He's been in the industry for but mad I'm, long, and I felt like I could do that, so I don't write because <laughs> he just said, boom, 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 came out, took two pulls, went back, I said, I'm doing that shit. Then Rich the Kid did the same thing. He punched in his whole verse. I said, no, I'm doing that. Okay, and that's what I do. But you don't feel like writing gives you the best, like, content overall? If I write, I'm really feeling it. Like, and that's okay. like, because I be forgetting shit. That's that's the worst part of I writing I mean, yeah, you're head. smoking, you're drinking, you're yeah, pushing Writing in shit. your head, you're going to forget some shit. You're yeah. going to get stuck, got to bring it back. So you're right. if I'm really into it, where I know I might slip up, I'm going to write. I'm going to just punch okay. in my notes. But nine times out of ten, I'm just vibing. 
I because you know people be like, oh, I think of a song on the fly, or I think of a song when I'm out. So you only like thinking of songs in the studio. I only think of music when I'm in the studio. Outside of outside of the studio, I'm That's thinking of how to get on. I'm trying to get <laughs> I'm trying to get okay. rich. I'm, I only create a song inside. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, so we're definitely thinking in the studio. All right. Um, and then like so, what's next for you? Right now, as far as music, like I said, right now I'm trying to uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two drill joints. I'm gonna do this one with Shawnee. Mm-hmm. It's either I'm gonna do another well, one. Yeah. I'm gonna do another one with her, mm-hmm. or like I'm gonna do the dad. Like, young. It's a couple. It's like it's people I'm, so I'm looking at. But do it's you like, feel like you're forced to do drill music because it's like so trendy right now? When I first, I did a song called "The Mob" in like what 2020. It was me, Loopy, Loopy Pharrell, and Dice Peso. Okay, Dice. I'm uh, RCA RCA knocked on my door. Okay, so labels been in tune with you. Yeah, I, I got I got falsely arrested for attempt murder, so I lost the deal. But RCA knocked on my door, mm-hmm. and that was off the drill. That was my first time ever even doing Trying some, to drill. Do some drill, shit. and I wasn't on no drill shit. I was just doing baller. I was just talking mm-hmm. on some stepper shit, yeah. and I previewed it. Everybody like, oh, this shit hard. This shit hard. I'm like, a word. Then I see like. The energy behind it. So I'm like, oh, now niggas is jacking it. Then mm-hmm. I was going through uh, through uh, RCA. Mm-hmm. Then they was jacking it. But they was on some... See, they ain't quick to sign me. They was on some shit where it's like... We want to see more. We want another drill. Yeah. That's what they was on some shit. Like, even they, they was p- p- producing the beats and all that. <laughs> so they <need> packs. Packs. <laughs> like, just do another one. <laughs> okay. And then, you know, the jail and shit. Okay. My shit came about. So, but you tried to drill, labels started calling. So, you think labels are attracted to drill or? They attracted to, yeah, they attracted to drill because drill is controversy. It's lit. They know, mm-hmm. they know how far. It's easy to market to. They know how see. far they could go. Uh-huh. I could wake up right now and jack every gang K. I'm going to be the number one view person that day. That day. That day. That day. That's it. I feel like that distance shit gets could go but so far. The reason why I say that day because it only matters if they reply. If they don't reply to you, you just look like a bozo. <laughs> if they say anything regarding it, they could just put that. I could just say John Doe. I could validate John Doe. And if John Doe posts 30 minutes later a crying emoji and he's talking about me, I won. Yeah. So you feel like I'm um, falling into like those like attention seeking artists like yeah you you, you know you know if it's genuinely the way this man's feel or if it's clout okay you could kind of tell sometimes so like, do you ignore the clout chasers or how do what do we do in those situations somebody adds you in a diss track let's say oh uh, let's say see I'm a nobody anybody gonna add me in a diss track let's say. Hypothetically speaking, somebody add me in the district. Yeah, you ignoring it, or you gonna say something? It depends something? on what he's saying, though. If he's saying shit that I know is not true, okay, I'm not gonna care. But if he know a little T, then it's like, mm, who this nigga? Nah, it depends. So it depends. <laughs> he, he could be dead lying, but it may bother me. Okay. So I might, adju- I might, but it's like certain shit is not gonna bother me. It's like okay. right, he's. Do you feel like that's the cheat code nowadays? Like people always try to throw out a diss track to try to get on. People will, I think is people will just try something little just to make it. I think they want to already do the diss track. They probably <laughs> already want to do the diss track, got it already recorded, and just want to. Because I'll be looking they at certain niggas buttons. that go back and forth on the internet. They got, them niggas is not even in the same bracket. Like, them yeah. niggas is not even, like, making the same type of, like, moves. It's like, mm-hmm. so it's like. Certain niggas that be going back and forth be like mm-hmm. kind of weird. Like, like how the fuck did y'all end like, up beefing? How did y'all niggas even end up friends? <laughs> like, how did y'all, y'all niggas came up different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, that makes no sense. Then you got uh-huh. some shit that be like, oh, nah. A lot of people are young, they fall into peer pressure. You gonna let this nigga friends. talk about it's, it's, it's all about friendship. Yeah. If one of the dogs don't like the dogs, then all the dogs ain't And happy. I feel like New York. New York artists, you don't gotta say you, but New York artists are easily like pressured to like reply to niggas too. I feel like with fans in the comments, so many they blog only pages. Reply if you lit, because it's like why? Wouldn't, like, why wouldn't you? Why, why wouldn't you reply to a nigga that got motion? But 
You're applying because all your fans are sending you it. You're applying That's because, why. but I'm saying we kind of peer pressured into that. All our fans in the sit, all the blog pages posted. Saying. See, a lot of people don't just diss. They get very disrespectful. Mm, they okay. go straight to the deads. That okay. triggers any man. Okay. There's no man in New York that let another man disrespect their dad and didn't do anything. Okay. It's impossible. Okay. It's, it's, it's like nigga, that's 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 what they. That's go. drawing the line, cause it's so much. It's so so far you could go. Yeah. The first time it's like ah he want clout. The second time it's like he don't know him. The third time it's like damn bro like he dead ass now. <laughs> okay. Like okay yeah so, I feel like that's just be a drag nowadays. Because if you got clout, it's it's, it's not that what they said. It's that the comments. Niggas is drawing you out. That's why I said out. the blog pages. It be mad <laughs> the shit with that. Niggas is drawing you out, making you look stupid. So now right? it's like. Right? Then they got these pages that catch pictures of you lacking, all types of craziness. It's like, it's so much, so much pressure nowadays. So, like, how do you stay out of the bullshit? How do you dodge all those bullets? Like, See, I'm in, I'm in <laughs> tune with everybody. Okay. Like, I have relationships with everybody. Like, okay. everybody jack ball. Because it's like, it's love. But it's like, I know what to do and what not to do. I know who to hang with, who not to hang with. I know who to, you feel me? So it's like, the way I stay away from the fucker is, first you got to know right from wrong. Mm-hmm. A person would dead be with a person today. He'll jack the other side, K or whatever, and he'll be with the other side. Side tomorrow. So it's like, you so, might not be on that, but that's kind of weird because how can you expect a person to trust you? Mm-hmm. Fuck what you say. Your actions speak louder than words. Right. So it's like, so it's not, so I, I just avoid all that shit. Okay. If you mention any other side, that K, K, I don't want to, I could say what up. Fuck, I'm going to do a song with you for. Yeah. Like, Too that's why I me. deal with people like, that I personally know because it's like, it is what it is. This is my dog. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really got that much features with young people that's not on, except for like, uh, Everybody's major, like everybody. Yeah. I got like Rich the Kid, Uncle Murder, Jimmy, Fred the God. Yeah, so, like, Luke, I Luke got cash. He's he's he's, he's New younger, York. Younger, he, he's yeah. New York. Yeah. See, see, that's my dog. You feel me? So it's like he's in some it's, Queens little politics. Yeah, but, but nothing crazy. Yeah, but that's home shit. That's home team shit. I'm saying the point I'm trying to make is that's 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 Brody. Yeah. So it's like I did a song with him. Whatever come with that is gonna come with that. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. that's the bro, like Shawnee. That's that's my little sis. So it's like mm-hmm. if. Whatever come with that, come with that. If if I don't know you, nigga, I'm not picking. I don't want to do a song with you, nigga. Like, <laughs> get balling no weird shit, nigga. Like that song, you hold me. But if I know you, it is what it, it's like going to the club with your friends. Yeah, you gonna ride for your friends. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, right. That's true. You feel me? But every everybody got their own drama because it's like yeah. everybody ain't. My my beef ain't a lot of people beef that that, that rock with baller. Right. They don't I, the niggas be with niggas I don't like every day. Mm-hmm. But I just keep my distance. Okay, that's fair. So, um, so yeah, so any, I just wanted to see what you're gonna say on that. Any last like shout out to whatever? What you expected me to say on that? No, I just, I just want to get other opinions on that. People feel yeah, nah, different. that shit. I don't and get into politics. You might shed some light on people that's watching that just feed into that shit. So, but any last shout outs? Anything else you want to say? Far as what this the shout outs and all that. Anything else you want to say? You want to let them know? You got a new got, track I, dropping. I got, nah, you got a project really, coming. I got um. So what I'm gonna be doing is, like, as far as the music shit, I think stop because you know I was doing the prank and shit. Yeah. So, prank calls. Yeah, the prank calls. Yeah, you prank called Booba Savage. I think you prank called like few niggas. I prank called the whole New York. <laughs> I prank called everybody. Like. Yeah. But it's like that took in the way with because. The reason well, why... Well, that was just a pandemic thing, right? And it became, like... I'm not going to mention who it was, but I turned down 50000 to, for like... For a to show? Sign, for that or something? To sign to a podcast. But at the oh. time, it was seven of us doing the prank, so 50000 was nothing. Yeah, that's I was going to split like, it equally. Yeah. It was like... I think it's already had that, so it was like I curved it, but now I wish I had it because academics got my page deleted. So it was like I could have oh, fell shit. back on that. But yeah. that shit took over the music. Like once I seen that shit was lit because CC was the one that put you on. Cause no, I pranked some dude named DJ Spotlight, mm-hmm. acting like Trap Manny. 
because they they had some personal like it has some some bullshit personal going on. Or but a cousin put me on like yo, we gonna do the prank. You gonna act like this? <laughs> so we had him scared. The shit was lit. Yeah. CC ended up posting that shit got like a hundred thousand views, two thousand comments. I'm like, yo, niggas like this shit. <laughs> so then yeah. I, then I pranked Tiana Taylor. Then I pranked Dirk. After I pranked Dirk, it was really over. After that, like, yeah. It was like, fuck it. This is gonna be a full time. I didn't thing, hear the Dirk prank. I heard the Boo Savage prank. I think you did Dream Doll too. I think I heard that one. I did the whole New York? Yeah, you did a few people. More. A but lot yeah. of niggas like six nine behind closed doors. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm. It's a lot of real gangsters or whatever they want to call themselves. Mm. That nigga got me blocked. I ain't gonna say his name, but. Mm-hmm. That nigga like six nine. That nigga. He was gonna do a party for six nine for thirty Ooh. bands. I ain't gonna say his name, but that's corny. But it's like a lot of people like six nine though. So what are your thoughts on six nine? See, it's it's not about what my thoughts is on six nine. It's about don't have a thought on the man. But when it comes to being in- involved with the man, you feel a different way. I don't like six nine to be honest. Like, okay, so he, he, you he, he wouldn't do bad. business with six nine either. That, that would make me look stupid. Why would I? I know that's what I'm saying. Nine? Like people be like, "Yo, I feel this way about him," but if he come to them with some money, they always change their mind for whatever reason. That's why it's different strokes for different folks. <laughs> like that's why I said niggas is broke. Niggas need a loan, so six mm-hmm. nine. It's like a lot of people don't really do it for the money. They think of, if you are artist. And you don't care about what people think, you're gonna do anything with six nine. It's a streaming game. Yeah. Niggas is getting cashed out for these streams. I guess. So they don't care about the money up front. They care about what the people gonna say. Mm-hmm. All them niggas with six nine streams is probably looking crazy. They tune call shit probably up. Probably. Because of that corny shit. <laughs> so it's like you feel me? So you don't feel like the pranks is corny or you was just doing out some calm shit? What? Pranking people. Oh nah, the pranks is funny. I pranked, like, I pranked Ray J. Like, a lot of shit I ain't record, like, Offset, Money Bag Yo, mm-hmm. uh, Chief Keef. He was in a hospital when I pranked him, so we ain't really jacked So, that. do you, you ever ran to people Sway Lee. and you told them to prank them? Or nah, you just like, kind of, like, if you know, you know? my relationships with people. Because, like, for example, I pranked, I pranked Gilly the Kid. Mm-hmm. Now me and him got a bond. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, pranked, I, saw that. I pranked him on live. Right. I pranked Benny the Butcher. He was trending for like two weeks. I woke up to a DM like, yo, call me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, I was like, yo, Benny told me call him, son. I called Benny. He like, yo, how the fuck you get my number? I'm like, yo, so I'm a prank. That's what now. everybody would have known. So how the fake, fuck you get so the like, number? There's a fake page. When I, was doing the, when I was doing the pranks, like, I know how to get the numbers. I'm not doing that. That's some kind of weird shit. Like, you really tapping into niggas' lives. Like, but there's a fake page that... We were just, like, one time I had, like, 400 people in the room. Mm-hmm. And I said, call out whoever y'all want me to prank. Just scream out their name. Clubhouse. On Clubhouse. You did on Clubhouse. As they screaming I out the that. names, he's pushing. I have a list in my phone of wild NBA players alone. We Each night, we'll target people like actors, rappers, yeah. movie star. We prank, like, yeah, that was the Wendy thing Williams, on Clubhouse with you, Michael yeah. Blackston, like, anybody you can think of, we prank, like, mm-hmm. whoever. Tiana Taylor was about to cash at me five hundred dollars to I find out who she sent thought the I was. Lamar Odom. I told her I got drugged in a brothel. It's on my oh. page. I told her I got drugged in a brothel. I was looking for Shumpert, but sh- she was in the sleep in the, in the studio. I said, "Can you can you can you three way Shumpert because I'm I'm fucked up." She like, "Oh my God, who is this again?" I said, "Lamar Odom." She said, "Oh my God, you gotta change, bro. You gotta chill." <laughs> so <laughs> long story short. He ain't answer, so I hung up. But we ain't get far, so everybody was like, yo, spend the block. So I spent the block like, yo, sis, I know you're going to have bro call me, but you think you could loan me $500 until so tomorrow? I'm really fucked up. She like, yo, bro, like, just send me the cash app. Zell, I said cash app. She said, just give it to me. But what you was doing in there? Like, but have, send it to me. But then I said, yo, it's a prank. She said, you about to make me cry. Don't ever do that. Uh, uh. And she jacked us. <laughs> I could have got that 500 but it's like. Everybody was mad I ain't take it. But it's like, <laughs> I don't, nigga, it's the yeah, joke. Yeah, no, no. Michael Blackston sent that money, though. That relationship is more important. So Michael Blackston cash up here? Yeah, he sent that. But see, I, so what I, I was have, what, what? What is that to him? I have a girl that do pranks as well. Like, it's a, it's a oh. crew of us. And oh. he pranked uh, about some, she pranked him about some other shit. And the nigga just kept sending a dollar. Every time she'd be like, yo, book my flight, the nigga keep sending a dollar. Like, just on some corny shit. He sent like $5. Oh, girl. But it's like that's funny. 
Mm-hmm. But the ones that like matter to me is like DMX and what, what's his name from the Breakfast Club? Charlemagne. Not Charlemagne. DJ Envy. That was Envy be pranked. Envy, yeah, Envy. How I you doing? Him at four in the morning. He was tight. Acting like who? Acting like Murder Murphy, Six Nines manager. That's who I act like. I don't act like I'm Six Nine. I act like I'm Six Nines manager. So they was mm. mad about that. Six Nine team. He was mad. mad. Well. Murder yeah, Murphy. Murphy, I, yeah, Murphy DM'd me like, yo, like, stop using my name. I said, what? Like, he's like, yo, people was hitting me up thinking it's me. I, I'm like, yeah, bro, like, it's not happening. He's like, yo, just switch the name. He was trying to thug me. I wasn't going to do it anyway. I just did it and just screenshot and posted it and clowned him. But yeah. I was supposed to, I was acting like Kodak's, a Kodak black manager. But I made, word to my son, I made up the name Murder Murphy. I swear to God. Oh. I said, I'm Murder Murphy, Kodak black manager. Niggas in the, on Clubhouse was like, yo, bro, that's a real person, bro. I'm about to oh. send it to you. That's six nines. That's, shut the fuck up. They sent it. I said, oh, shit, so fuck Kodak. Nigga, I'm acting like Takashi then. And nigga, some people jacked it. Some, like Sue Surf and Booba was probably the Sue Surf, Booba, and Sleepy Hollow and Chef G shit. They was probably the most disrespectful people. <laughs> <laughs> Booba shit was just straight up we I action. saw that shit. Straight SMD <laughs> Sue Surf ain't even wait no waste no time. You and Takashi could you know <laughs> you feel me and Sue and that. Sleepy and them niggas they was just going they was just violating. <laughs> nah, see you, chef. Tato Mont Fredo what's Chief Key friend what's Fredo Tato Tato he, he his shit got like tr- his shit got real treacherous. His shit you couldn't <laughs> post it or you posted it. <laughs> nah, I ain't posted because he thought I was academics, and he he said he was gonna do some things. To that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he so I stir up some pie. Okay, I ain't posted. I ain't posted. Okay. His shit, Q. I think QC from Quality Control. His shit, I pranked him. And P like, or Coach K or one of those. So yeah, so you wouldn't go back to the pranking shit and being a funny guy that you are. It's it's not about like going back to the prank. It's like the platform is not there right now. Like. Cause, for the people that don't know me, may look at it like how you looking at it as, as like a corny vibe versus the people that already know what's going on. Like people going to support what other people support. Okay. You feel me? So if they see other niggas like, oh, yo, Brody back. He back at it. Like he back at it. Like what's going on? That's why I always keep all my pranks there. I'm, mm-hmm. I started doing it on the grand, but I lost my page and I had to pay $4,000 back. That encouraged me not to do this shit. Like, okay. Like I pranked the girl. It's not my fault she wanted to sacrifice her auntie in Haiti. She Wait, said, what? She, <laughs> the pranks Wait. get deep. Long story short, I woke up to a bullying message from Instagram saying I was bullying her. She texted me saying you had me scared because she was supposed to get a million dollars to sacrifice her aunt. This may sound crazy, but the pranks really get that deep. Like she really So people broke. sending you stories to... A story. She sent me her auntie in Haiti. Am I lying, Neef? She I'm sent- saying, but you knew the story from someone, so I freestyled it. Oh. All I need is a, a name, location, and what they about, and we rocking out. Oh, okay. But she really sent me her auntie though, like her, her whole auntie in Haiti, she like sh- an old lady. It's set for an M. She's gone. Before we go, right? This is a true story. I had a dude. I don't even know his name. This is like season two of the of the pranks, but. It was a dude that really thought that his uncle was going to die. And he was supposed to get a million dollars, but he was supposed to get $10,000 up front for cash shop. Some dumb shit. I made some stupid shit. He jacked it, right? Uh-huh. The nigga called me every day for four days to ask me, is my uncle dead yet? The fourth day, because I was doing other pranks. So the fourth day, I answered. It. I finally got back on Clubhouse and said, yeah, your uncle is dead. He said, so if I call my auntie right now, she's going to say my uncle is dead. I say your family's in Haiti. That shit probably ain't even hit America yet. How the fuck are you going to be the first one to call your auntie? Like, is uncle dead? You know, then that's going to look funny and you get a million dollars? He was like, I ain't think of it like that. The point I'm trying to make is niggas that do anything for money. Mm-hmm. Well, of course, we know this. No, but that's kind of crazy to actually send your auntie or your uncle to a stranger. No, people. Like, <laughs> for a stranger on the phone is crazy. Yeah, that's OD. But yeah, people do do crazy shit for money. But you know this. Yeah, You're not that's... doing that, right? But if the prank thing was to come around, somebody want to offer you another 50000 would you do it? 
I'm jacking. But it's for what the you platform. doing? It's I'm not jacking. anything for money, but you I'm know, jacking it for the. Pl- at the time, it ain't make sense because I felt like it wasn't enough for all of us. Right. We, we, we was gonna take off with it no matter what mm-hmm. because like the, the the wave was there. Okay. okay. But just it just wasn't enough. Right now, it's just balling. So we out. Right. You should make a song about that. The prank shit. Mm-hmm. Remember, I said the movie I was supposed to be in with the prank shit. Yeah. Made no, make, like made the soundtrack for the song. It's called Hood Pranks. Okay. So it's like, it's been really got us like a prank song. So I, I ain't really like, his shit fire actually. Like, so people yeah. know, so are you meeting the people? Because you say you locked in with some of them. Yeah. So all, they, all, all, everybody I pranked, I, I know. I got like, is it they like follow me back or we, we be talking like. It, but you got a new page now. So like y'all still in tune? Nah, my stuff? clubhouse got deleted. Oh. I had like 16K on my Everything clubhouse. got deleted? No, my page I got back. My academics got my clubhouse erased. It's over. But you still got your Instagram. My Instagram, yeah, I still. Yeah, but they still got but I'm Instagram. saying they all follow me on Instagram. So yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, I so pranked, I got a bond with. So if I wanted to hit like certain people, like like Benny for a feature, like it like I got the bond already. Like he knows me, so he's mm. not gonna deal with me. Like okay, you feel me? So. So that was a blessing in disguise, I guess. The whole prank yeah. shit. I kind of, I kind of looked at it like a, a Ron Suno wave. Like you see how he was on the the, the, the video, funny shit. Okay. He started rapping now. Then he do both, and now he just lit. Cause if rap die, he go. To, he could be funny. If he can't be funny, he could rap. Yeah, some a lot. Of, some people don't respect Ron Suno's like pen game though. What nah, he think? get busy. He, but uh, every, yeah, like, it's, everybody so. like what they like. Like it's like I don't like. Everybody like what they like. Yeah, so you think that transition into being funny and being in the rapper is possible, though? I'm saying, like, he's lit both ways. I'm saying, so it's possible to Hell, be funny and possible. be a rapper. A lot, but it's like, it's 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 a lot of people that 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 was funny and should be rapping. But you feel me? A lot of everybody raps now. Niggas is just paying people. Rap now. Niggas is getting money. Yeah. You got kids getting a million dollars. I'll be on the phone like, yo, bro, they just gave this kid a million dollars. Just to diss dead people? Not like, so that's tough. Dead. Like, like bro, it's like, bro, people is getting paid, so anybody want to rap. You got niggas 50 okay. rapping. Okay. So it's like... So anything's possible, basically. Yeah, but the funny with the rapping shit is better, because it's like, you got a different fan base, like, from overall kids. Mm-hmm. Like, niggas could like you for being funny. Like, once you lit, then you could just drop anything. The, who your favorite rapper? NBA Youngboy. Everything NBA Youngboy drop is not fire. But he's so lit, niggas don't even care if it's not fire. They're going to just jack it. You mean to tell, like, Styles P is my favorite rapper, French. Every song by them is not hard. Like, you got to be honest with yourself. NBA Youngboy drops mad music, so the shit if that he matters, dropped 10 songs, songs about matter. six of them is fire. But NBA Youngboy catalog is crazy. I'm talking about the songs that matter. Like, the songs that other people think is not, you think they all, they all rocking. Can you play a whole NBA Youngboy album? <laughs> I probably skip like four. Why would you skip them? I would skip like four. Why? If they not good, they're not good. What the fuck I'm gonna so do? So my point is, so like I'm, so I'm saying, like, so I'm it's not. Like you could be the littest person in the world and just drop whatever. Like it's like once you lit your. It's fans not dropping whatever. You. Maybe somebody else likes that song. I feel like music is all opinion based. So. See ya. See, if we wasn't on the air, like when we get off the air, I'm going to explain to you what I mean. Music is opinion based. Just because me and you don't like a a song, don't mean something. I don't want to say it and niggas might be like, oh, nah, ball or trying to be funny. So off the air, I'm going to give you a a prime example of what I mean. All right, you don't have to say the artist's name or something, but I'm sure it's songs that you like that your mans don't like. It's songs your mans don't like that, you know. Not everyone has the same ear for music. You got old people that still listen to old music. They can't get in tune with this drill shit. But niggas is biased. Like, I got friends. People are biased, too. I got yeah. friends that, like, you. I got friends that. Well, that you like said dirt. French Montana, your like, favorite artist. We know not every song he made is fire. That's a fact. Okay. But so it's you're like, going to throw the diamond thing in there. It's, I don't know. Now it's, I'm not going to throw diamond, <laughs> but French, like, 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 French, like, you're right. I feel like just music is just an opinionated yeah. thing. So it's like, whatever you like is what you like. It's what you like. But that's it's what I'm so saying. You lit, but French is lit, though. So it's like. He could just do whatever. A lot of niggas don't like his that song with him on, with that shit with D thing and them. But it's like that's your opinion. I like it. That's your opinion. I, I like this shit. I, I look that's at it saying. as showing love. Niggas don't even look at it like that. They just say he don't even be on a song. Like he show love. Yeah. Like facts. like it or not, look at it a different way, niggas. Yeah, that's true. But it's like you know he don't belong on that. Like, but, he's showing love though. That's his way of showing love. Like, yeah. I mean like. 
thankfully we do have artists coming back to the hood and showing love to all that stuff. But um, yeah. yeah, I feel like music is just opinionated. Like, whatever you like is what you like. You like Young Boy. Okay. So it's like. What you like is what you like. The. Okay. Then, and like, he, but he's good though. But who you feel like can, can compete with Young Boy, clout wise? Like, not who make good music as a as an influencer as a person. I just want you to say one person. And it's slow. And it's clout over. wise. Clout. He, he, he. I. I already got the person. He, he. He don't have big songs. He probably have a couple songs that shake the ground. He's. He's. He's not. He's not a. He's. He can't go. I'm song not song tolerating this young boy slander. Just throwing. No, he's not there. fucking with young boy. But he's the only artist that could come close to young boy. What? Probably Dirk or something Dirk. like that. I said influencer. Kodak oh, Black. An influencer. Kodak Black. Yeah. Kodak I was, and that's NBA crazy. Young I was going to say Dirk or Kodak. Is the most influenced people in Kodak don't got to have a million songs. That nigga is a troll. He's going to always be lit. He's on but he's trolling dead ass. So he's not how niggas want to troll and look for clout. He's dead ass like I want to fly you out. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead ass. I don't look at Kodak but, as a troll. I look at Kodak as being at least he calls himself I a feel, troll. Bro, if you know how like people are from Florida like Kodak is just the most popular Florida person. Like, Florida people are like it's big outlandish. Florida. Florida, Florida people like they all like they always do some crazy shit. So it's just like Kodak w- was at a situation where he posted something about somebody, and I guess they took it serious. Nigga said, "I." Nigga said, "You, you took me serious." Freed I was joking. From I'm flat of jail from I think Trump or something Trump, like that. Yeah. So yeah, so I feel like people know Kodak that is dead is ass. what make him like that's major. What? How many rappers you know get pardoned? No, that's major. I agree. I agree. But I think co- but people. But now Lil Wayne had it the illest though. We can't forget that. Yeah, he had a he error. Like he had, had ten years. He was they was giving Lil Wayne ten joints or whatever, and Trump said that shit is gone. So Lil Wayne had it the illest. Yeah, Kodak shit was good, but Lil Wayne shit was kind of like legendary. I mean, that nigga ain't even go to the court and swear out or nothing. That nigga just, <laughs> just disappeared. Yeah, that's kind of funny. But um, nah, yeah. So nah, but NBA and Kodak got it. Them niggas right there, like a song with Kodak. I give Kodak fifty thousand for a feature. Why are you saying prices on camera? That's not okay. No, nah, because like, it, I, would you give like a like for example, if a rapper like, if Chef G, but like I want fifty thousand, you gonna give it to him? That's kind of crazy, bro. A Kodak Black, you're going to do that. Yeah. That's the point I'm trying to make. Like, a nigga not going to think twice. Nigga, you're funny. It is what it is. Um, it's a lot of money. That's not a, That's not easy money. Shit, they got to save for that. I know, but it's just like, just don't disclose prices. I feel like everybody should be That's dis- not his price. Kodak that's not his Kodak price, Kodak but you're saying you're going to pay whoever, whatever. Like, no, I'm just... I'm I'm not I'm not realistically I'm not doing that. The label will have to do that for me. I'm just saying as to show you how important that is. I will give that man like I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm not giving no man fifty thousand dollars. Okay, man. just making sure. No, that's that's just that, making sure. Niggas ain't rich. Okay. The label ain't putting that up. It's quiet. Fifty's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, fifty is a lot. I ain't going front. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to give that impression, but yeah. They up there. So, tell people where to find you. How can they tune PJ in to the Baller, IG. This camera, this camera. PJ the Baller, P-J-T-H-A, Baller, B-A-L-L-A. That's my name on everything. What they gonna do with me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles in the frowns. Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd.